number nine on the TCAP eighth grade math practice test uh, says what is the solution for x in the equation f of x equals g of x if they give you equations you should pay attention to them this is the one you're most likely to miss too not this question just this part of the question f of x is equal to g of x that's important it means the w one thing they give me is equal to the other and they say where f of x is equal to 30 minus 0.5 x and g of x is equal to 2x minus 15. Well, if I know they're equal to each other, wouldn't it make a lot of sense if I just set them equal to each other? From here, I have a couple options. The first is just to solve the equation, which makes a lot of sense to me, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw my line uh, in the class that I teach, the next step I would look for is baby goes bathroom, which is distributive property. There isn't any. And then I would do clean my room, which is combining like terms. Don't have any of that either. What I do have is what we call pork chops and applesauce. That's when you have variable terms on the on opposite sides of the line that I just drew. Um, which, by the way, would have been the first step, so I lied when I said the first thing would be distributive. First thing is draw the line. Anyway, I've got to get all my x's on the same side of the equation. I'm going to move that minus 0.5x, or really what I'm doing is getting rid of it. In order to get rid of minus 0.5, I need to add 0.5x to this side, because if I'm half negative and I add half, I'm back to zero. That's the goal. Anything I don't use, I'm just going to bring down. Now, if I do, if I write something down on the left side, I need to do it on the other, unless I'm combining terms on the same side. So these cancel out, and then I add 2 and 0 0.5, which gives me 2.5, and then bring down minus 15. Now, it's what's called parties over. In this situation, I have an x term and an integer, or variable term and integer, and then an integer on the other side. This is like when I have a party at my house. There's two types of people that show up. There's the friends that will help me clean up, and I keep them close to me anyway. And then the friends of friends who show up and just like babble on about Facebook status or whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm X here, so the 2.5 is next to me, so it's close. I'm going to get the, rid of the thing that's furthest away. So I get rid of minus 15. In order to do that, I need to add 15, because if I'm on a number line and I'm at negative 15, it takes me 15 to get back up to zero. If I do it on one side, I need to do it on the other. So these cancel. And 30 plus 15 is 45. Now, all I have to do is the last step, which we call finish it. In this case, I just do whatever the last operation is. It's usually opposite operations here. So I try to get rid of times 2.5. In order to get rid of times, I need to divide. So I divide both sides by 2.5. 40, oops, I don't know why I wrote 2.4, because I was thinking ahead to tell you that 45 divided by 2.5 was something. And in this case, the answer is 18. That's the solution to solve it the long way. Now, what happens if I am not very good at solving equations and I still would like to get the right answer? Well, if I have a calculator, my life becomes much easier. So what I'm going to do is erase a little bit here and get me back to the original point of the question. And then we're going to talk about substituting answers in, which is not something that has a lot of mathematical integrity, but whatever. Some of you are not going to be math people forever. I'm not really a math person myself. Anyway, I do need to set them up when they say they're equal. But after this, my life becomes very easy. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, man, I can't do this, don't give up. Set it up first, make it look like it's supposed to, and then it's really easy. I've given four answer choices. That's the beauty of multiple choice. It limits the amount of options that I have. So if I see for A, for instance, that X is equal to 6, well, what if I just plugged in 6 where X was in these equations and see if I can make a truth statement? Because originally, before it became about teaching people s silly tricks and random things, math used to be about finding what the truth was and then sharing it with others. But somehow it's become something else. Anyway, for instance, in the first one, I would do 30 minus 0 0.5 div times... 6. So I just put a parentheses around that x. And then I would type that whole thing into my calculator. Drawing the line here still makes a lot of sense, because if you get one side of the line equal to the other, if the question says they're supposed to be equal and we prove that they are, da da da, da answer. So I type in 30 minus 0 0.5 parentheses 6. And I get 27. Now I'm looking for the side on the right of the line, so this if I plug in 6 to give me the same 27 as below. So what I'm going to do is put parentheses around x and hope this works.
We know that it doesn't because we already solved it. But if I type in 2 print C6 minus 15, I'll get negative 3. Now this statement would say that 27 is equal to negative 3. Well, we know that's not true. So x equals 6 cannot be the right answer. So I'm going to mark out x equals 6 and show you the one that does work. That way I can skip spending so much time on this one question and get over with this video. Now, we said in our original that uh, x is equal to 18, so we're just going to prove that to be true right now. Put a parenthesis where x used to be, plug in the answer choices. Basically, you're just trying different answer choices until you find two that are equal to each other. Now, if I type in 30 minus uh, 0 0.5, parentheses 18, the reason there's parentheses, by the way, is because it's times. I'm just trying to get the calculator to understand it. And I'll get 21. If I do the same thing over here, 2 parentheses 18 minus 15 gives me 21. This says that 21 is equal to 21. Well, that's true. So when I plug in 18, I get the solutions that I expect. So the answer to number 9 is just C.